Hey guys, this is Jess from Curse. I'm here at the International 2014, and here with me I have Mr. James Too Good Harding, the panel host for the event, going to answer a few questions for us. So, how is the event overall for you? Um, how has it been production-wise, and what do you think of the games? Um, overall, it's really nice. You know, everyone's enjoying it. A lot of uh, crowd, a lot of atmosphere. Day one, a bit boring. A lot of push threats. You know, I was sat there and I was like, I could push towers boring. Day two got a lot better, a lot more fun games. Uh, day three so far has been pretty good already. The games have been good. Uh, Cloud9 just went out. Um, as far as hosting goes, it's okay. I've done it a few times. I think um, this is probably going to be the last time that I'm going to host TI. Um, it's a lot of work. Too many early mornings. I just don't want to do it anymore. Um, I'm getting old. so. I think if I come back to another TI, I'll probably do something different. I might not. I, I don't think I should be hosting anymore. I'm not hungry enough to host. I just kind of sit there and I'm like, okay, time to talk. And then I talk and then it goes on. But it's like 10, 12 hours a day, so I'm too old. As far as the games are going, we've seen a lot of really successful, or really strong rather, Chinese teams. Why do you think that is? Um, they just make these mistakes, really. There's, um, they play to the strengths, which is their team. They don't necessarily focus on making sure one of their players is doing really, really well. Like some other teams where you expect like Sing Sing or Dendi to do amazing for those teams. They focus on where's our strengths, how do we minimize mistakes, and they play a really safe game. Which team are you rooting for, and what sort of strategy do you think they'll have to use to win if they make it to the Grand Finals versus Newbie? Uh, I'm ring oh, I thought EG and DK would be the two finalists, um, but obviously that didn't work out in the winner's bracket. So I'm kind of expecting DK can go all the way, just because their individual skill. Like they're really good across the board. Ice, ice, ice on the off lane is amazing as long as he doesn't feed too much. Sometimes he goes a little bit too aggressive. Mushi is awesome. I mean, the whole team's amazing. Like, look at Lan I mean, like, he used to be playing carry, now he plays like a support, and he does everything brilliant. So, individually skill, I think DK could get to the finals, and they just need to play their own game. Finally, what are your predictions for the Dota scene post event? Um, the whole Dota? Oh, okay. All the teams are going to change. I think Cloud9 might stay together. I think Navi, they'll have roster changes. I think Fnatic will have roster changes. Yeah, there's just going to be a lot of switching around. Um, but as far as it's going to go over the course of the year, it's going to be interesting because this is such a big tournament. We don't really know when the next kind of big interest is going to be. Because after this, like, how much prize money do you have to put down to be like with a tournament to watch, tournament to play in, or how much production value do you have to bring? And we, we've seen like ESL go to a stadium. We've seen Dreamhack do a league. We've seen Star Ladder constantly improve with what they do as well. And we've even seen smaller tournaments like the Summit do well, but it's gonna be a lot of competition for Dota tournaments, so it might just get crazier, but that could actually end up saturating the scene and maybe hurting it before TI5. Like, I would be very, I would love to know if TI5 is gonna be bigger than TI4 in terms of prize money um, and in terms of prestige. And that's something that we can't predict, but that's, you know, the success of TI4 really comes off the success of the game and the success of what everyone's doing over the course of the year. So it's a, it's a very important year because if it declines and TI5 is actually smaller than TI4, we might see a lot of kind of like people losing interest because it's not like the, the, the cool thing, the hype, you know, it's not on the up, it's on the down. So you know, some people might be like, ah, you know, I'm just going to go on to this other game or this is more interesting now. So it's going to be an interesting year, but I can't predict it. But I hope it gets bigger because the game's always improving. Great. Well, thank you so much. Once again, this has been Jesper Hart covering the International 2014 for Curse. This coverage has been brought to you by Alienware.